Cam, Cam. Ah! Ah! What are you doing? You can see me? Yes, I can see you. Why couldn't I be able to see you? Because I have my invisibility suit on. Oh, Kim, no. I'm Cassandra. And I'm Kim. And welcome, welcome to Central Kids TV. This month, we're talking about humility, mm -hmm. which is putting others first by giving up yep. what you think you deserve. Right. Um, talking about what you think you deserve, what was with the green suits? You mean my invisibility suit? No, no. I just thought it would be an amazing just to be invisible for the day, to do whatever I wanted to do. And no one would know. <laughs> I went to Starbucks. I went to Target. I was dancing in the aisles. You should have seen me. People were watching me and looking at me. They must have been very confused. Um, um Kim, they could see you in the green suits. Um, they could see you dancing in the store. No. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't think maybe? Did you? What if someone happened to to film me on their phone? I mean. Yeah, yeah, Kim. They they could see you filming. Yeah, they filmed you on their phone. Yes, you'll be probably on YouTube tonight. Oh, yeah. Great. <laughs> um, but I have a way. To, uh, I can make something disappear right here in this room. <gasps> you have an invisibility cloak? No, no, kid, kids. There's no such thing as invisibility cloak. But there is science. Science? Yeah. Really? Um, yeah, yeah. Let me just grab uh, my stuff. Yeah. Look at this. Okay. Science. <gasps> Ooh, it's a little heavy. Okay. Oh. Wow, what's all that? Okay, so we have a large glass bowl. Okay. And we have a little glass bowl. Yes. And we have some gloves and some oil, just in case we need the tongs to help us. All right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to put this together, and this glass bowl is going to disappear. No. -uh. Yes, yes, yeah, I promise you. Okay, so put your gloves on, because okay. we don't want to get messy. I can't wait to see this. Yeah, can you help me with this project, right? I, I would love to help you. Let's open this up. All right, so... What we're gonna do, Kim, is I need you to pour, I don't want to get any oil on me. Yep. Do I look ready? You look so ready, okay. you're awesome. Okay. okay, so pour the oil, like maybe three quarters of the way full. Three quarters? Oh, this is heavy. Yeah, it's a big one. Okay. I bought the big one, just in case. Got it? I'll hold the bill, I'll hold this. You tell me when to stop. Keep going, keep going. Bloop, 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 bloop. Look at the oil. Keep going, oil. okay, that's good. We that's should good. make some chicken nuggets. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay, so now, I don't want to get everything. Oh, we're making a mess. Okay, so now put the bowl okay. inside the oil. All the way down to the bottom. All the way down to the bottom. Push it all the way down. Oh, we need more oil. We need more oil. You fill her up. And if you <gasps> look at it, Look. Oh my god! It's completely oh, gone. You can't. Oh, it's gone. You can't see it. You can't see it. it at all. Isn't that awesome? I know. Oh, it's our god. very own cloaking device. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, science. Yeah. How did this even happen? Okay. I mean. So this is what happens. So when light travels through glass and then oil, the speed of light slows down on the reflection and this makes the glass look invisible. The slowing down process of light and reflection through certain objects is known as the index of refraction. Okay, wait. Mm -hmm. Wait, 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 wait. Yep. Did you just trick me with this? Is the bowl still there? Okay, so it's go ahead. Is that really invisible? Re reach in and pull it out. Go ahead and reach in. Reach in and pull it out? Yep. Mm -hmm. I can't see it. Good. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. All right. We're all about to look at something <gasps> else that wasn't what it appeared to be. Cool. Oh, it's time for the story before, before the, the story. story. The story before the story. Today, we're in Luke, the third book in the New Testament. Luke is one of the four Gospels, the books that tell the story of Jesus' life. But before Luke, in the very beginning, out of a deep, deep love, God made an amazing world. But when people turned away from God, the world was broken. God made a plan to draw people back into relationship. So at the right time, God's very own son, Jesus, came to live among us. When Jesus grew up, he traveled from town to town teaching and healing. But the religious leaders made plans to get rid of him. Jesus was crucified on a cross and died. But early Sunday morning, 
Jesus returned to life. Lots of his friends saw him. Which is where our story starts. Take it away. On the very first Easter Sunday, things were a little wild and crazy for Jesus' followers. Yeah, first the tomb was empty. Mm -hmm. Then some people reported seeing angels. And finally, some other people said they saw Jesus alive. For those who had not yet seen Jesus with their own eyes, it seemed too good to believe. Yeah, one of these followers was a man named Cleopas, 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 I don't know. Oh, I know this story. It was a Sunday afternoon and Cleopas and a friend were walking from Jerusalem to the town of Emmaus. Mm, that, wow, that's like seven miles away, right? Luke, who wrote down this story, didn't tell us the name of his friend and I don't know why. I don't know either, but as they walked, Cleopas and his friend talked mm -hmm. about everything that had happened in the last week, trying to understand. While they were deep in conversation, mm -hmm. this man came walking up and started walking right along with him. Okay, spoiler alert, the man was Jesus. <laughs> yeah. But God kept Cleopas and his friend from recognizing him. Mm -hmm. Then Jesus asked them, he's like, what are you talking about as you walk along? The two men stopped in their tracks. Yeah. They just couldn't believe anybody could have missed all the action. I know. They said, are you the only person visiting Jerusalem who doesn't know about the things that have happened there in the last few days? What things, Jesus asked. About Jesus of Nazareth, they replied. He was a prophet. He was powerful in what he said and did in the sight of God and all the people. The chief priests and the other rulers handed Jesus over to be sentenced to death. They nailed him to a cross. But we had hoped that he was the one who was going to set Israel free. Also, it's the third day since all of this happened. Some of the women who followed Jesus has told us something that amazed us. They said early in the morning they had went to the tomb but they didn't find his body. Mm -hmm. They came and told us they saw angels who said, Jesus is alive. Then some of our friends went to the tomb. They saw it was empty, just as the women had said. Mm -hmm. They didn't see Jesus's body there either. Mm -mm. Then Jesus said to them, how foolish you are. How long it takes you to believe all that the prophet said. Didn't the Messiah have to suffer these things and then receive his glory? As they walked together toward Emmaus, Jesus started explaining everything that the scriptures had said about him. Mm -hmm. And remember, these men didn't have the New Testament. Right. They had the laws that God had given to Moses and all the stories and prophecies mm -hmm. written down on scrolls. Yeah, that's what we call now the Old, Old Testament. Testament. Mm -hmm. Jesus went through it all step by step and explained God's plan. He told them how it was predicted all through scripture that the Messiah, mm -hmm. Jesus, would come to save God's people. And that he would have to die and return mm -hmm. to life. Cleopas and his friend were completely floored by what Jesus said. When they reached Emmaus, it looked like Jesus was about to keep walking, but they didn't want the conversation to end. So they invited Jesus to come and stay with them. They said, it's evening, the day's almost over. So Jesus went with them and stayed with them. He sat down and had dinner with them. He then picked up the bread from the table and gave thanks. Then he broke the bread and began to give it to them. At that moment, the eyes of Cleopas and his friend were like open wide. Mm -hmm. Suddenly they recognized who he was. They realized the person they had been with all day long was Jesus. Jesus. And as soon as the men recognized Jesus, he disappeared. They said to each other, he explained to us what the scriptures meant. Weren't we excited as he talked with us on the road? The men were so excited that they left their dinner sitting right there on the table and they ran all the way back to Jerusalem that evening. Guys, seven whole miles away. They went immediately to the place where Jesus' closest friends were staying. They told them, we've seen Jesus. He walked with us on the road to Emmaus. The men told them everything that had happened. It was just one more amazing confirmation of the incredible tooth that the resurrection really happened mm -hmm. and that Jesus is alive. alive. Just imagine if you're one of those guys, I mean, 
you find out it's Jesus and then he just disappears like he can do that now. I wish I could have heard Jesus himself explaining God's whole plan. Yeah, that was a pretty awesome thing Jesus did for them. Jesus cared about his friends so much that he wanted them to understand the big picture of what God was doing. And we can take the time to help others understand what God is up to as well. Like if you have a friend that feels like they don't fit in anywhere, remind them that God has a unique plan and a place for them to fit in. God created each of us just as we are. He loves each of us and our uniqueness. You can show humility by taking the time to help people understand other stuff too, like a hard math problem, or how to tie their shoes, or the best way to shoot a basketball, or how a green suit is not an invisibility suit. So here's today's big idea. Put others first by helping them understand. Thank you for joining us today. We'll see you all next time on Central Kids TV. Uh, hey, hey, uh, hey, uh, I'm gonna know, what do you think? If I, what, you know, the disappearing bowl thing? Yeah. What if I jumped into a big bowl, a big swimming pool full of oil, would I disappear? No, no, you wouldn't. It doesn't work that way, Kim, no. What if it was a giant? A giant glass no. bowl. No, no, no.